Hey y'all. We're late tonight, so if y'all hear that, it's because my big kids was hungry when I got home, so I had to cook them something. But I haven't been on here in a while, and I'm gonna tell y'all the truth why, I'm not gonna lie. I gained some weight. <laughs> I was really discouraged by it. So I had Nyla in December and my weight started falling off like water. And then I went and got birth control. I got the Mirena IUD for anybody who's ever had it. I've had it before with my oldest daughter, but I didn't have any complications. And so this time I only had it in for about three weeks and I started trying to do the responsible thing. Y'all know I got five children and you know, had the whole marriage situation um, going on as well. And so um, here we are, uh, wanted to do the responsible thing and I ended up gaining 20 pounds. So I recently had them to take it out and I've already seen like two days ago and I've already seen that I've lost about five pounds already. And so um, just take care of your body. So that's not why I came on here. I came on here because I wanna play a song. And so I wanna encourage you guys as well to find your outlet life can be hard and it's a lot of wicked people see a reason that i have to have an outlet the reason that i pray so much i spend so much time with god is because he delivered me from being the way that i used to be so the one who used to want to argue and was quick to fight and all of those other different things i'm gonna tell the truth to myself i ain't gonna lie god gave me such a heart of compassion that i be crying over stuff that i used to be upset about and the reason I'm crying is because I can't respond how I used to because God going to be upset and I love him too much to disappoint him. And so I have to do music or pray or praise or worship. This is my lifeline. That's how I keep going. And so um, this song is entitled Storms. It's about dysfunctional relationships. But let me tell you something, little sis. If you are young and you're trying to figure, figure out life, I'm not advocating for you to be in a a dysfunctional relationship what I want to advocate for you to do, to do is go heal and spend some time with God and allow him to teach you about his love so that you can develop self love so that once you get involved with somebody I pray your husband love you so much I pray he love you I mean and I'm not saying when you to the T's and you got yourself together I'm praying he love you at your worst like it was your best so when you at your best, that's just the cherry on top. And I'm praying for you, my brother, that your wife love you at your worst, when you ain't got it all going on, like you at your best. And she is your favorite cheerleader. And I'm praying for both of you all, if you have childhood trauma, um, traumas that are unresolved with your parents, that God heal you in those areas. And even if it was bad experiences, that you learn from that and you implement the good things that, like, you be the complete opposite of it if it was bad. All right? All right, so this song is entitled Storms. Y'all be on the lookout because I have an album releasing this year. It's going to come out this year. And so um, we're looking at about June or July. I'm trying to get some physical things in order, but about June or July. I used to do music a long time ago, but um, I wasn't um, saved baptized with the Holy Ghost, walking in the things of God like I am now. And so the music has a completely different aim for me now. And so I'm going to play this song entitled Storms, and I pray you all enjoy it. Here we go. You say the manga and he struggles with obsession, but you don't see the times in his youth he was molested. Crying to his mom when she left him all neglected. Sent him off to school, now she's battling rejection for years and for years. With the tears, he's been crying. Thrown on the outside, but on the inside, he's been dying. And you're supposed to be his peace. You're supposed to be his queen, but you can't see the man through the eyes that the Lord sees. Now let's talk about her, and we all know her story. She used to run the streets, now she walks in glory. Turn her life around, she's crushing her goals. But those goals, yes, those goals don't heal holes in you. So not to mention the stress that she dealt with by acting you Wondering why she tripping off the text It's the pain that she's felt The car she's been dealt She was molested too But she stayed to herself in the storm
feel that every time because that's real that's real and so you guys um subscribe to our youtube channel like comment and subscribe to our youtube channel jesus girl ent tv and subscribe to our podcast jesus girl ent i am a person that have experienced great trauma i mean some stuff um but i gave my life to jesus i'm not no different than many other people i mean Went to the same clubs you went to. Probably went more often. <laughs> Had the same turn up semi more often. Um, dated different people. Probably a few more. And um, I made a decision. I made a decision. And so I want to help you if I can. All right. Talk to you soon. Love you. And know that Jesus loves you more.